example of a small toby box that you may find used as a marker out in the field. Please ensure before any digging activities correct Cat and Jenny procedures are followed. Once the buried duct or tube has been located, please ensure safe dig practice so as not to damage it. a small or medium toby box. This is a connect event for and is available to use stores as this or a small amount of toby box. Please ensure this is drilled into the correct place so as to be secure using all the correct tools. You will then need to drill into the medium toby box so that the cable can be fed through. cable has been fed out of the medium toby box's drilled hole, please ensure that it is cleated to the water so as to secure it. This will then be covered and secured by the connect vent for wall capping. Once you've located the customer's tube, you can remove the end cap by removing the green insert. And then add a connector in much the same manner to continue the tubing. Once the tubing reaches the customer's property, you can use this insert to keep the 90 degree bend. Once the tubing is at an appropriate place on the property, you can then apply the Gabacom end cap. This will require a small amount of construction. Once you're sure the end cap is secure, you can then tighten using the appropriate tool. Here is an example of finding the buried Gabacom tube coming out of a small toby box as a marker. You can remove the end cap by taking out the green insert and then pushing on a connector to extend the tube. Once connected, the tubing can then be brought to surface level to be cleated along a wall or fence. Please ensure you use the correct tools, adhere to the correct spacing and use the correct size cleats. The rest of the tubing can then be buried as it was found. This tubing is to be buried in a garden that contains gravel, so firstly scrape the gravel away and use the black flexible conduit available through Gabacom or through the EASC stores to house the tubing. Once in position you can then feed the Gabacom tube into the flexible conduit duct to be buried. Ensure the tubing stays in the correct place against the customer's property. Please use a bend control provided by Gabacom.
road to an appropriate depth and incite the black conduit with the bend control. Please ensure the gravel is appropriately tidied and the area is left in a tight pan. Once the cable has been pulled through the Gabacom tube, please ensure the correct end cap is there to secure the cable and terminate into the customer's seat. Ensure the end cap is secured tightly and tighten with the appropriate tool. Here is an example of coming across an installed small Toby box and where you'd expect to find the buried tube. Ensure correct use of the Cat and Jenny locator before digging is enacted. When the ductual tubing has been located, ensure safe dig practices so as not to damage anything. Once there, please remove the rope and the end cap. If duct 56 has been used, please modify the end cap, which is duct seal 16E, so that it can accept the Gabacom tube. Once modified, if you can pull the rope in the duct so as to show the cable and pull the cable through the end cap and have a go into the gap. has been pushed through the duct 56, the end cap and the Gabacom tubing, please use amalgamated tape to secure the tubing to the duct end cap. Once secured, you can then begin trenching in the Gabacom tube into the customer's property. You can then bury the tubing appropriately and backfill and reinstate as the Here is an example of some vertical cabling on a wooden fence. Please use the correct tools, adhere to the correct spacing and use the correct size pin. Here's an example of a cable being cleated horizontally along a fence, again making sure to use the correct spacing and the correct size pin. Here is an example of cabling along a brick wall horizontally. Please ensure you use the correct tools, adhere to the correct spacing requirements use the correct size for you. And this is how the final product should look.
Welcome to this short video of how to install the roadway tape. The area where the tape is to be deployed onto must be dry and free from any loose dirt or debris to ensure a good adhesion is made between the tape and the surface. If the area is dry, then a step broom can be used to clear away any loose dirt or debris. If the area is wet or damp, firstly clear away any standing water, then dry the area using a thermal lance or gas torch before using a broom to clear any remaining dirt or debris. Prior to laying the tape, check with ISIS EPT UGP B101 for symbols guidance. Once your route has been decided for the roadway tape, mark out with tram lines slightly wider than the tape to ensure that the primer covers the area of the tape and to ensure neat finish at the edges. Decant the primer into a smaller container. Using a 4 inch brush or roller, liberally apply the primer in an even coat between the marked out tram lines. Take care not to stray outside the tram lines. Leave the primer to become tacky to the touch. This will normally take between 5 and 10 minutes but can be shorter or longer depending on ambient temperature. Unused primer may be returned to the main container. Roll out the tapes, sticky side up, alongside the primed area and cut to the required length using Scissors 7 Cranked. Carefully lay the cable into the centre of the tape between the two support channels. Starting at one end, carefully turn the tape over and start to lay the tape onto the primed area. Continue to lay the tape onto the length of the primed area and ensure to stay within the tram lines. If the cable becomes detached from the tape during this process, Reposition the cable between the centre of the tape and continue to lay the roadway tape. Using a punner, start to tamp the tape down along one edge with a firm action. Repeat the operation along the other edge and also the centre of the tape. Care must be taken not to use excessive force on the centre section as this could damage the fibre. Repeat this operation after 5 to 10 minutes until the edges of the top of the tape are fully adhered to the surface. During the installation of the roadway tape, PPE and open reach safety directives must be followed at all times. Thank you for your attention in watching this training video. For further details regarding this product, please contact either Chris Fisk or Steve Woods at Openreach Chief Engineers, Openreach Network Test and Evaluation Site, Adastral Park, Martlesham Heath, Ipswich, Suffolk.